What is up you guys, it is your boy Pretty Boy Floyd and in today's video I'm going to be talking about Curology. Now if you don't know about Curology, I don't know how. If you have an Instagram, you've probably seen their ads like everywhere. I know I have, that's how I heard about Curology, just um, going through ads. So I was really excited when they hit me up because this is a really great company. I've actually tried it before, they even hit me up and I thought it was a really good service. Um, it, I think I might have mentioned Curology, I think, in a previous video of mine now that I'm saying it. Um, I believe I did it in one of my favorites video when I was talking about Curology. And maybe they might have seen that video, maybe that's how they noticed me, but I'm very stoked about this sponsorship getting Curology at one point just because I thought it was such a great service and now um, they are giving me the service and they're allowing me to try out their service and honestly they're just being a good Samaritan and helping me out with my skin, um, helping my skin get better and I mean it's it, it's great so I, I'm just super thankful for Curology for sponsoring this video um, it's uh, it was a great opportunity to work with them so I will leave a link down in the description this is an affiliate link um, with me and Curology if you want to help me out uh, help you guys out there will also be a discount code for you guys to try Curology out Curology it is a very great service um, for you to get prescription uh, skincare for less money. Like I said, if you add up the dermatologist visit and then add up the prescription, you could definitely spend um, well over $100 just going to a dermatologist. I know for me, a dermatologist with my insurance is about $70. And then on top of that, the prescription might, let's say like it's like $50. That's already like $120 right there. There's especially for a price only $20. That's like the biggest thing that like drew me to Curology, just how cheap it is. It's only $20 a month and you get a prescription like skincare bottle that's actually a prescription. Um, the stuff that they gave me, I would have to go to a dermatologist and get it prescribed to me. But with them, it's super easy. All you do is take a picture, upload like your front view, side view, and then look up for them to look underneath your neck too for any uh, breakouts and stuff like that. And a dermatologist or a dermatology specialist will look at your skin and assess your skin from there and see what your problems are and then prescribe you what they think would best fit your skincare or your skin concerns. So um, you guys know for me, it is hyperpigmentation and also um, it's texture to skin. Um, I can kind of have, my skin can kind of be rough at times, especially when razor bumps start to pop up. Uh, it's like my biggest problem with my skin. It's breaking out after shaving or uh, getting razor bumps, that's my biggest concern. So yeah, that's my biggest concern. Um, as you guys know, I've made a whole bunch of videos about my skin problems with hyperpigmentation and stuff like that, and I've tried a whole bunch of things, and I will say this, going with pharmaceuticals instead of um, cosmetic products, there's a big difference between pharmaceutical products and cosmetic products. Pharmaceutical products, you have to go to a doctor and get it prescribed, and also it is backed by science. This is stuff that has been tested and has evidence of its um, of it working and actually has results to show. When you go with cosmetic stuff, it's not, it's not like scientifically proven. At least most of it isn't scientifically proven, and a lot of it is just marketing schemes and um, it's basically just to kind of make you feel better. I mean, granted, some of those ingredients do help you a little bit, but they're not gonna help you as much as pharmaceuticals. Pharmaceuticals have been researched and tested, and that's why I more so go with pharmaceutical stuff than cosmetic stuff. When I mean cosmetic stuff, it's just like the stuff that you find in a drugstore. There are some things that have been tested that, um, that have been sold in a drugstore. Um, that can make a difference in your skin, but I would say about 80% of the stuff in a drugstore is kind of just to make the consumer feel better. And so that's why I like to go to the more um, pharmaceutical route and go to a doctor and get my skincare prescribed to me. I think that that's the best route, especially for somebody who has real skincare or who has real skin problems, is to go to a dermatologist and have them prescribe you what they think best fits your skincare needs. I remember messaging the dermatologist like, I know um, the first time I tried Curology, it was like they gave me the lowest percentage of tretinoin and I know that I needed to go higher. Um, I've tried tretinoin 0.05 which is like the second strongest concentration of tretinoin so I know I needed like the highest 
percentage of tretinoin. Every time I tried uh, Curology, they gave me the lowest dose of tretinoin, and I know that like it wasn't gonna, you know, show show me the results that I wanted to see. And I know that I've tried 0.025, I've tried 0.05, and I've seen great results with that. And I needed to get the highest percentage, which was 0.12%. And I will say, I have definitely seen a difference. My girlfriend's seen a difference. I'm not sure about my family. I don't think they really pay attention to my skin that much. But um, if my girlfriend sees a difference, then I mean, that's really all that matters. I got the bottle sent to me about a month ago and I will say I have seen the results that I've wanted to. Um, I haven't seen any like big results. My hyperpigmentation isn't totally gone, but it is definitely a significant difference from my starting point. I mean, especially from my starting point, but just from uh, tretinoin 0.05, um, to the tretinoin 0.12 which Curology had prescribed to me. Also, they added in clindamycin and azelaic acid. Now clindamycin I have tried before. Um, I, have, I actually tried clindamycin when I first had uh, my face broke out because of razor bumps and clindamycin cleared it up. And I think I messaged a dermatologist saying that razor bumps was one of my concerns. So. Them prescribing me clindamycin, like I knew that it would, I like I, I was just like, yes, we're on the same page here. And like, you know, thank God they can mix that. Thank God they can mix the uh, tretinoin with the clindamycin. So clindamycin is like the best ingredients whenever you have like severe razor bumps. Like it will definitely clear up your skin. Um, but like I said, it is only by prescription. And like, I mean, I have shown you guys like creams that you can buy from a drugstore again that's like um, cosmetic products uh, that you can find at the drugstore which do work to a certain extent but I remember that one time that the uh, the razor bump stoppers they didn't work anymore and I needed to go to um, I actually went to the patient first like I actually went to urgent care patient first um, for them to like assess like my razor bumps and that's when they prescribe me clindamycin so anyways I don't want to get too deep into clindamycin because um, I really feel like the start of the show is a tread knowing um, just because like just that increase in tretinoin like it really helped improve my skin and even like improve the texture like um, just my skin was just super uh, soft um, it was awesome uh, <laughs> and anyways anyways uh, so let's see um, the last ingredient that they put in was azelaic acid now I've never tried azelaic acid before never had it prescribed to me and I think it, they gave it to me at a pretty low dosage I think it was at 5% Hold on a second. Yeah, I think they gave me azelaic acid at 5%, which I think is a pretty low dose. I've heard of people getting azelaic acid at 20%. Um, I think that's like the highest percent. As for the routine, I apply the cream every night. I uh, do about one to two pumps for my entire face. I uh, apply that and I apply my moisturizer and of course after I cleanse. So cleanse, put on the uh, the night cream, uh, the night serum or night formula from Curology. After that, moisturizer and just go to bed. That is the end of the video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, click the link down below and use my custom link to go to Curology. And again, thank you Curology for sponsoring this video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.